Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, today we're going to be making this little package here. It's very slim, as you can see. Very beautiful with this lovely foiled um, paper from the Bundle of Love Suite. Um, and inside this little package, there is a little bar of chocolate. Here's my bar of chocolate. If you're in the UK, I buy my this, this chocolate from Aldi. It comes in packs of five, I think, five or four, um, for about £1.20 or something like that. So it's quite a cheap little treat to make. You can see it fits exactly in our little sit treat package. Um, and I'm going to show you how I made it. I send these out um, to all the customers who shop with me. So every month I make a whole load of these and send them out to my customers. And also sometimes I'll send something like this with my welcome pack for my new team members um, so if you want to get your hands on one either order from me or join my team I would love to have you so anyway let's have a go at making this so we're going to use a different pattern from the um, bundle of love suite for this one um, this one's still for gold foiled a lot more gold on this one they'll quite like this one um, and we're going to start off with a bit of scoring my piece of um, DSP measures five and a half inches across the top six and a quarter inches down the bottom as always all the dimensions will be all the measurements will be in both inches and centimeters on my blog and the blog directions will be um, below the video um, the link to get you to the right blog post will be below the video so please click on there go through to my blog and you'll see all the measurements you need I'm going to do it in inches on the video though <coughs> oh, excuse me right so I need my um scoring board i'm going to bring this up here love this scoring board it gets so much use right so with the shorter end the five and a half at eight, um, inch end at the top i'm going to score at one and a quarter inches at one and five eighths inches at three and five eighths inches <coughs> oh, excuse me just started coughing as soon as i came on video and at four inches I'm then going to turn my card round, my paper round, and I'm going to score at five and a half and at five and five eighths. Five and seven eighths, sorry, five and seven eighths. There we go, thought that was a bit odd. There, that's all the scoring we need. So I'll pop my tool back in there and pop that down there. Right, okay. So I'm now going to burnish all those folds so that I can see what I'm doing. Um, really pretty this um, designer paper um, if you haven't seen it it's um you get two two sheets with blue on the back and two sheets with um, pink on the back so it's really lovely for baby cards especially when you can see both sides it's design you can see both sides really pretty just burnish this and then we're ready to just trim off the bits we don't need and the bits we don't need are which side is easier for you to see maybe that side okay i'm going to trim the, the the second score at the second score line and i'm slightly going to wedge it and then i'm going to cut straight across this bit i'm not wedging this bit i'm cutting straight across and then i'm just going to do the same on this side so at the second fold second score line and then right into the the innermost score line and slightly wedge so that's what you end up with a template like that okay what we're going to do now is we're going to put some glue on one of these edges and just glue that down and my little tip for you is I'm going to use fast fuse here which is not going to be available much longer in the catalogue so if you really like fast fuse it might be a good idea to just buy a couple or one and a couple of refills um, because we've been told that it's not going to be in the catalogue that comes out in June. So just a bit of fast fuse down there. And then I'm actually going to put my chocolate in here so, oh, so that I know that I've got a nice fit. So I'm actually going to wrap this round my chocolate 
like so straighten it up so that these edges meet together and then glue it. and then I know that I've not done it too tightly ask me how I know yes the one first one I made I didn't put the chocolate in and then I'd made it slightly too tight for the chocolate to fit now this little tab at the bottom here will just fold up and go in there and I haven't glued it it seems to hold quite nicely without being glued so I haven't helped I haven't glued that if you wanted to though you could just put a little bit of fast fuve on this tab and just put it in there and then once the chocolate goes down you've got a bit of, bit of pressure to put on there so if you wanted to glue that you could okay now at the top here I'm just gonna just push these sides in slightly can you see I've just indented them and I'm going to use my eighth of an inch punch handheld punch to punch two little holes oh if I can get it in doesn't want to go in there we go um, I'm gonna punch one there Oh, if I can. What's wrong with that? There we go. It's because I'm cutting through two layers of paper. It's just a bit stiff. There we go. That's fine. And then I'm going to come in. This time I'm going to use Lemon Lime Twist for this one. Um, this, this one is actually going to one of my new team members. And the, the, goodies I, the other goodies I've made her um, have, are green and turquoise theme so I thought this one would if I used um lemon lime twist on here it would all coordinate so I'm going to use that I'm going to trim off the ribbon there pop that away and then bring the ribbon through the other side although it's quite thick ribbon it will fit through these holes quite nicely and then just tie a bow let's straighten that up a little bit need to pull a bit through it's a bit tight but it will do it that'll be all right because I'll have to trim a bit off at the end anyway there we go um so just actually I'm going to do it this way because I tend to end up with my bows upside down so I'm going to see if I do it this way whether I can get the bow the right way up honestly I make so much such a hash of tying bows when I'm on camera and I do it really easily when I'm off camera I don't know what that's all about there we go there's my bow and then just come in and just trim off a little bit there we go and then just the last little bit on the front here see how easy this is to do on the front if I show you my one I've just used one of our scallop punches and another scallop punch to punch like this but I've stamped this one with two of the stamps from Sweet Soiree so I've got one that says for you which I'm going to stamp onto a piece of vanilla very vanilla because the background of our sorry about reaching across there um the background of our um package is the the sorry get my words all muddled up the background of this gold paper is very vanilla so it's gold and very vanilla so i'm going to use very vanilla um ink to stamp the for you so i'm going to stamp that first and then I'm going to punch that out and I'm going to angle it so that, oh sorry, can you see? Um, I'm going to angle it so that it's not quite central. I don't really want it central, so I'm going to just put it a bit to one side. And I'm then going to come in with the little flower from Sweet Soiree. I'm going to close my stamp pad. And I'm actually going to stamp this in turquoise because, like I said, all the other goodies were um, green and turquoise. So I'm going to use green and turquoise on here. So I'm just going to do a couple of little flowers. So not the whole thing. I'm just going to stamp off a little, stamp off to one side like so. And another one down there like that. There we go. Just a pretty little tag there. And then... I'm going to punch the scallop circle out of lemon lime twist so this will coordinate perfectly with the ribbon and then I'm going to mount that on there with a little bit of fast fuse which is here so tiny little bit of fast fuse if I can get it to work like so fix that on there and there's just, I don't know if you can see, just a tiny bit of the lemon lime twist showing through there. And then I'm going to mount that on dimensionals, which are here. 
Lost my pokey tool. Here we go. Here's that one. So just a couple of dimensionals. Like so. And pop that on there. And we're done. How quick and easy was that? Really, really nice to make. Really pretty little package. And I hope my customers really like getting their chocolate wrapped up so beautifully. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that project. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you did. Like I said on my last video, I'm really trying to get to 2,000 subscribers and I'm about 300 away at the moment. So any, so any more subscribers would be absolutely great. Um, and if you want to find out any more details about this project, the measurements, and all the products I've used will be linked in my blog so just go below the video here click on the the link to my blog and it will take you through to the right post that's all for now thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye